Thank you very much. Ms. Pauline Rose, Wendy Pepton, Graham, and all the distinguished guests, I welcome to the Bangladesh response to education in emergencies. I particularly put my gratitude to you who have made the time to come here to know about Bangladesh and emergencies, particularly the Bangladeshi <coughs> children. Uh, I just uh, put some slides here. It's an overview, background, and primary education system, emergency scenario, impact on disasters on education, government response, preparedness measures, uh, some or few success stories, challenges, future plans, and uh, some recommendations should be there. Bangladesh, uh, you might know the Bangladesh is uh, located in South Asia, bordered by India, Myanmar, and Bay of Bengal. One of the characteristics of Bangladesh is, is it's the seventh most populous country in the world, but uh, it's among the most densely populated country in the world. The per capita GDP has been doubled since 1975, and the poverty rate has fallen by 20% since early 90s. However, Bangladesh continues to face a number of major challenges, like economic competition relative to the world, serious overpopulation, widespread poverty, and increasing danger of hydraulic shocks brought by ecological vulnerability of climate change. As I said, Bangladesh is a very populous country. It has a very big young population, and primary education system is one of the uh, um, large primary education system are there. The so number of primary schools are 81,508. Number of teachers are 361,450. Number of students are 16 million plus 539, 363. And now the enrollment rate has been uh, achieved to 94%. Since uh, Bangladesh is a, <coughs> a very downstream country, so it's uh, near the Bay of Bengal, the flooding is reported almost every year in Bangladesh. Serious uh, floods causing extensive damage occur on average <coughs> of about uh, three to five years. Between 1972 and 2009, Bangladesh faced 10 major floods. Just in the last three years, Bangladesh has faced two major cyclones and, and effects of this has been very far reaching. The IPCC, Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, 
predictions on impacts of climate change in Bangladesh point towards an increase in the frequency and intensity of disasters, which is already evident through these uh, frequent uh, cyclones. Uh, this is a map from Bangladesh. It's, uh, it's mostly showing the effect of cyclones. The down, downwards areas are all. It is always cyclone front, and the upward stream is also uh, flash for, uh, affected by flash flood. And Bangladesh has uh, hundreds of river, so it floods every year. And uh, it is estimated that 46 out of 64 districts are prone to flood, flash flood, cyclone, drought, landslide, earthquake. Every year, of the uh, country faces disaster of one sort of the other. Uh, this is like a disaster calendar. You can see some of the months. There are always a recurrence of uh, flooding, flash flood, drought, uh, river erosion, cyclones or tornadoes, uh, even cold weather, earthquake, and arsenic contamination are there all over the country. Here are some figures about the impact of disasters on education, particularly. Frequent floods um, in 2000 uh, damaged 50,000 schools in the last 10 years. 13,000 schools affected in 2007 flood only. And devastating cyclones are is there also. And 14,799 schools are damaged by cedar. And 5,000 schools affected by another mm, cyclone is called Isla. And floods have a longer term effect on education than cyclones. Cyclones come you know, very frequent, but uh, flooding stays <coughs> a longer period and it impacts. Uh, and damages schools for the students for a longer period. <coughs> On average, 900 schools suffer severe damages from floods, cyclones, and river erosion every year. There was a study in flood and cyclone in 2007 is considered as benchmark for the study to understand impact of disaster on primary education <coughs> where 10 upojelas is the sub districts of 10 uh, of the most flood and cyclone prone districts and 21 unions are selected for the study covering 342 primary schools even though the cumulative impact of disaster on all aspects of primary education is not systematically <coughs> assessed, the available data shows a frightening situation is there. An estimated average 900 education institutions were completely damaged each year by cyclone, flood, or river erosion. At the same time, an average 400 450, uh, 4,500 schools are affected by disaster every year. This flash flooding or flood or cyclone damages the education system education in a school infrastructure are completely damaged. Access to school 
becomes very difficult for the children. Loss of teaching and learning materials are also happens quite some time. Uh, since the government has a policy to uh, emphasize on save the lives, so schools are used as a cyclone shelter. Almost all the schools, 93% in the affected areas, sustain varying nature of degree of damages to their school infrastructure. Learning environment and other facilities such as play playgrounds and water and sanitation. More than 50% schools sustain physical damages infrastructure, with a higher percentage damage in flood area for 57% and in cyclone areas 44%. On an average, 15% of school experience relocation in the year 2007 we saw major flood and a cyclone school remains closed disaster play a significant role in unscheduled school closure one in five schools remained closed for over a month in the affected areas the study also found that more than half of the schools are actually closed, which were not really reported to be closed. Actually, the closure was more than that was reported. Closure was significantly higher in flood area than the cyclone affected areas, which were 35%, and in cyclone areas, 9.5%. Schools in the study location experienced 4,483 school day <coughs> losses with a significant higher average in flood areas 37 days than in cyclone areas 8 days. Then schools are used as a shelters while it is remained closed for a longer period. This causes considerable damages to school material and infrastructure. More than half of the schools used as shelter are not officially declared as uh, shelters, just people who are uh, managing to make them safe in the school. Excuse me, Soraya, sorry to interrupt. It's Wendy sorry. over here. Yeah, I'm sorry to interrupt. We've, um, I'm going to have to ask you to, to try to uh, uh, bring things to a close. We've got about five minutes because okay. we've got oh, so sorry. many other speakers. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Okay, yeah. okay. Perhaps you might want to concentrate uh, yes, on, on the, the school government's response. It reduces yeah. and there are the financial uh, loss on FRS, each school had a financial loss of BD Taka, 84,000, and some some has a very high rate of percentage, that is uh, 600,000 Bangladesh Taka. During 2004 to seven, three disasters alone caused BD Taka 11 billion of losses. Uh, this is a seen from the school building. The building has not been damaged so much, but there is a, uh, no, no road to access to the school. Uh, this is also a scenario that the school is OK, but uh, the access for the children was very, uh, the, uh, the access were not very good, so the uh, attendance were reduced. Uh, this is a uh, this is an arrangement made by a local community. When the, there is a flood, then they make this boat to get them the to the school. Uh, 
this we can see the school building uh, this is not accessible so there was a makeshift school nearby so that the children can come to the school this is also a, another makeshift school when there was their original school could not be um, uh, accessible then um, people are making a makeshift school Uh, this is also a uh, school when um, community made for their children when there was a idea and cyclone people just make some areas to make their children school to go they and uh, this is a better school this is made by uh, made for a uh, school come shelter home. When there is a cyclone, people will get shelter in the second floor, first floor. This is also a similar school. Just I want to put some government responses, uh, how the government have responded to this uh, situation. In 2007, floods needs assessment of school were done. School uh, textbook kept or distributed. Budget allocation for repair and maintenance for of affected schools. And reconstruction of 360 flood affected and river eroded school at a cost of uh, Bangladeshi Takat 116 million. And after there was a cyclone cedar in which 19 coastal districts were affected, and need assessment also was done. Government distributed textbooks to all the affected schools. 42 transitional schools are constructed. 450 million BTT allocated for repair of 5,375 affected schools and reconstruction of 390 schools at the cost of 5,215 million BDT taka. Uh, this is also a transitional school made after the cedar. Total schools damage in Cedar case, 16,954. And transitional construction of transitional schools are made for 42 areas. Through this support, uh, education for approximately 6,000 children could be restored and continued. This was a good partnership from the community. Community actually built this uh, school for their uh, children. Uh, government has also responded in Cyclone Isla. 11 coastal districts are severely affected, damaging over 5,000 schools. Also, textbooks are distributed to the affected schools. Teachers, and uh, they are, they make the uh, kids and also the school, uh, school books prepared when the, uh, there are cyclones, then government distributed all these in P position, uh, they kept its P position. And 392 million BDT were allocated for repairs of 4,284 affected schools. Just two minutes, uh, Soraya. OK. Yeah. Also, some preparedness measures have been taken by the government, training on education and emergencies for frontline responders, and some pre-positioned school kids 
were there, raise up some budgets and uh, for the repair and maintenance every year. Uh, there are some success stories in, in some areas, uh, alternative spaces were made and there are some transitional schools were made and disaster resilient context specific school design and construction were made. Flexible school calendar were made which is very innovative that uh, uh, when there are cyclones or cedar or something like that then the teachers or the community can make their uh, calendar as the suits. Uh, Pre-positioning of supply of school and kids are ready and funds are also allocated for regular repair and maintenance. Some, though we have some success stories, we have major challenges for this lot of uh, emergencies massive scale of disasters and limited capacity of resources to respond. Government has a uh, big network of uh, primary education particularly, and government has limited capacities. And availability of funds from the development partners are not also uh, much. Schools being used for other purposes after a disaster because of the uh, crisis, people may make their school as a shelter. So school remains closed, uh, closed for a few months. Availability of timely information is, is also a problem. Design and location of a school is a uh, challenge. Limited attention to the education needs during emergencies also becomes a challenge. Uh, there are future plans from the government. Uh, program three, that uh, it is meant that there are there were program one, two. It's got program two is going on, and from program three, government is uh, going to plan from uh, 2011 to after five years. Information on school and children in disaster prone areas will be more uh, uh, outreach, pre-position of school kids, districts, sub-districts, and school level disaster preparedness plan were made. Disaster resilient school design have been uh, planned. Public awareness campaigns have been planned in this program. Mechanism for rapid transfer of funds so that immediately the local community can help the school to rebuild or make shift school can be made. It has been designed. And government also making budget allocation for providing supplementary reading materials on disaster risk reduction, training for frontline responders <coughs> and small grants to schools so that they can uh, make their own arrangement. School-based uh, disaster preparedness plan or are also going to be made in this program. Uh, I have from this uh, study, we have some recommendations. It's, it's a general sort of recommendation, like education to be an immediate and integral part of humanitarian response. What we have seen that uh, we have been saying saving lives in uh, in Bangladesh, the thousands of lives were lost during floods and cyclones. But uh, so they, so the government had a plan, had schools to be used as a shelter home, and nobody were bothering why that the school. Uh, the calendar of the ch uh, children, they were not bothering for the children's schools. So, but nowadays, we think this it is a very much loss for the community, for the children, that if for the saving of his uh, other lives, his school calendar is damaged, then it is 
it, uh, it is also suffering him and uh, dropout rates are uh, increasing uh, very uh, frequently. So education to be looked into as an immediate and integral part of humanitarian ref response. Educate and timely funding for education in emergencies should be there. And better coordination and integration of emergency response between development partners and the government should be there. What we say that we we have a lot of uh, development partners, but sometimes uh, we don't have integration of the responses. So you want better integration to the humanitarian response. Uh, I, th I think uh, I finished my time. Uh, thank you for hearing me. And uh, I would love